Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. So for this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use different hair to um, get your distress locks look and your bonito locks looks. So in my previous videos, I always use the 8 inches hair and people have asked me what hair they could use to replace the 8 inches hair because the hair is too short, right? So I don't know, I don't. I usually don't know what to answer because I have not used any other hair myself. So today we're going to be trying different hair. You can see if you like it and I can see if I like it as well. So to start, I'm going to use any kinky hair that you have. I have the Jamaican kinky um, twist. So I'm going to end up using, taking one strand, divide it into two, and I'm going to use one half to twist my hair. Since the whole point of this locks is because you want it, you know, it's really, really lightweight. So you don't want it to be too heavy on your client. So you have to try to minimize um, the hair that you put on your client's hair. As you can see, I'm going to divide it into two, and I'm going to use one half to um, twist my client's hair first. And now I'm going to be using two strands of the, of the spring twist hair, which I believe is about 18 inches or 22 inches. So again, it's way, way more than eight inches, right? So yes, that's really, really good. So I'm going to end up just separating it. And then I'm going to use two strands of the spring twist hair. I'm going to use that to start wrapping. And I'm going to use um, two strands again to, to finish wrapping again two strands to start wrapping and two strands to finish wrapping again if you want it to be thicker you can keep adding more if you want it to be skinny you can keep at you can just start with less strands like lesser strands right again you don't have to use two strands to finish wrapping but i think i like the two strands because it just keeps the same size going so it doesn't look so skinny towards the ends of your arm um, locks but if you don't care about how skinny it looks then of course you can always use two strands to start and then one strand to finish it like it does no difference the difference is just the size to be honest i am also going to be doing different colors for you guys i'm going to be doing using this color i'm going to be using 613 slash 27 and i am going to be using black as well i also have the link to all the hair that you can see me using right now Again, for my bonito locks, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep wrapping and taking out because it's really, really messy. Basically, if you want it to be, you know, messy, you have to just keep taking out. If you don't want it to be that messy, you don't have to take out as much. So again, I'm going to just um, wrap once and then take out, wrap once or twice and then take out. And that's how you create the messy look. Also, try and wash the end because I'm going to show you how I seal the ends of my braid with of my um high set braids. I'm going to show you how I seal the ends of my um, locks without having to burn them because of, you know, when you burn them, it's kind of, um, I don't know, it just causes, um, what do they call it? It just gets freezy and like tangly, but if you end up just not burning them, it's just, it's really, really nice and the, the end result is so, so nice to be honest. If you guys have any questions, you can always, you know, comment and I would always, I'm going to try my best to answer all the questions that you guys have regarding those locks though i haven't tried the style on my clients before so it's really hard to say how many packs you might end up using but i would strongly say that you probably need about seven packs about six or seven packs i always say seven just to be safe but i think you need about six or seven packs also it depends on the length and the size that you're going for on amazon the spring tooth hair this particular spring tooth the one the um the 18 inches and the 22 inches and up they usually um come in about six or seven packs but the, the eight inches spring twist hair usually comes in in just three and imagine having to pay about 26 dollars just for three packs that means you're paying about $52 for about six packs. But for this one, you can end up getting like seven packs for 30 something dollars and max 30, sorry, max um 40, but it's still, still way, way cheaper. So basically if you end up wanting butt length and you use this hair, you end up um spending less money. But if you want to use the eight inches hair and you want to do butt length, you're looking to spend about one hundred and something dollars, which I think is too much for just the hair for the locks. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also turn your notifications so you can see all my new posts because I'll be posting more. I think for my next clients, I will try to use this hair and see. You know, and just hear about the reviews and see how my client likes it. And then I would confidently 
just switch to using this hair alone instead of having to spend so much money on the other one i would say if you want something like bob blocks and all that stuff the eight inches is perfect for you but i think if you want a longer length you should think about using this hair because it's really not bad like i really i actually do love it it works like it works i wish i knew about this again see you guys in my next video and stay safe and be good Thank you.